Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the difference between STEM courses and non-STEM courses. Now, as you're applying for your masters, the biggest question that usually comes in the mind is whether the course I'm applying to is a STEM course or a non-STEM course. Now, what does a STEM course mean? STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, maths. Any courses that fall under these categories are usually considered as STEM courses, whereas non-STEM courses are related to discipline like arts, humanities, literature. Now, the best way to find out whether your course is a STEM course or a non-STEM course is by simply going to the university's website and looking at the program detail that you are interested in applying. So just to give you an example, this is how I found out whether the course I was applying to was a STEM course or a non-STEM course. So you simply go to the university's website, you look for the program detail and where there is description about the program, it's more, more than certain you'll find out whether the course is STEM or non-STEM. So as you can see here, it's clearly stated that this degree that I was doing is a STEM degree and the program that it has, it's all a STEM-based program. So that's the best way to get the answer regarding this. If you still, uh, get confused regarding this, or if you are not able to find out whether your course falls in STEM or non-STEM category, the best way is to simply contact, contact the department that you're applying to, and you'll get the best idea from there. So you can simply get the information and figure out whether your course is STEM or non-STEM. Now, the impact, the, the second half, the biggest thing that usually is important to understand is that as you're applying, what impact it will have in future. Now the STEM course, it's usually come with a three year work visa. What does that mean? As you graduate, you get one year of your initial work visa or, or it is also known as your OPT, optional practical training. And once that expires, you get another two year extension just because you completed your degree in a STEM field. Whereas if you do your degree in a non-STEM field, you only get one year of work permit. And after that, you're only left with two options if you wanna continue your stay in US is either to apply for another program of study or your employer sponsors your H1B. So what does this mean? The biggest advantage with a STEM course or a STEM degree is that you get three years of work permit and you don't have to worry about sponsorship for three years and you get three chances to file your H1B. Whereas with non-STEM, it only reduces to one. So that's the biggest difference when it comes to STEM and non-STEM courses. So that was all for this video. I hope you all liked it, got some information regarding the differences between these two domains. And if there is anything specific, feel free to reach out and post your questions in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer. And make sure you watch the other two videos as well. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you so much.